Hello everyone to another Hearthstone Mercenaries video. This time we're doing Heroic Nazoth for the latest, for me, uh, Jassage event task, which is your kid now, which is to defeat Heroic Nazoth with all your mercs left alive, so we can't have any die. So for this, we've swapped our team from our usual free-to-play setup. We have Millhouse and Toronto now. The reason for this is so if they swap in, they can deal with all the ads and not get swamped by them, because I think Grom and like, um... Grom probably can't clear fast enough, or it's dangerous because he'll be really low and stuff like that. And the, the Tornado has a good chance to do a lot of damage to this off. Um, another reason we have Rakara here is just so she can empower Samuro, and she can also help these two live in a pseudo way. You can replace her um, with Carrialdo if you want. So this time we got Samuro with Spirit Blade 5, Corneos with Toughness 5, Fazarelli with Valamphia. Rakar of Orgrimmar Tabard, Mill has Arcane Blast, and Tarando with Celestial Armor. Now, per personally, getting just get Arcane damage on treasures on these two if you can. Otherwise, get Ring of Protection, something like that, defensive stuff, right? Rakara, you can get Commanding Shout, you can get Orgrimmar Tabard, anything that's good. Like, obviously, Orgrimmar Tabard's really good and helps you clear to the boss, but you can get whatever you want, really. Um, Samuro, Spirit Blade or Wind Fury is really good. If you play Wind Fury, you want to do the fight a bit differently, and I'll explain how. But, um,. Toughness is exceedingly good on Cornelius here. There's going to be a lot of hits going out, and Toughness will mitigate a lot of it, which is exceedingly good. I'll go over the whole mechanic as we go, but Spirit Blade is fine for Samuro. Um, as long as you get Spirit Blade or Wind Fury, you do need something on Samuro for this fight. I also have a Fighter Buff for plus 10 attack. This will base... It's not going to change much, honestly, um, because uh, Psychers is still going to die on turn 1, and I'll explain how. So we'll go into it now. Valamphia is good as well on, on Zarella, just to, you know, obviously help. If you get Resurrect, it's also good, because being able to Resurrect someone mid-fight, amazing. So we're going to open with the usual suspects, which is Samuro, Cornelius, and Zarella. It's very important that Samuro's in the left, and I'll explain it when it happens, but... Um, Basically, so Psychus is a taunt, as you can all see. This is exceedingly a taunt, we're not doing anything on Cornelius on turn 1. Um, the, it's simple why. Oh, well, it's not simple, but what's going to happen here is, so Nazoth's going to spawn three adds, each going to have 15 attack. Now, we're going to do a lot of damage to Psychus here, but what's going to happen is Psychus isn't going to die. He's going to blast Samuel's arrow with this, by the way. But what's going to happen is if we taunt with Cornelius, which might sound tempting, Samuel will hit into Cornelius. We don't want that. We want everything to hit into Psychus. Because Psychus has Taunt, when um, there's off this Mass Hysteria, we'll hit into him. That's why Zarelli is also debuffing him, so we'll take less damage. So he's going to die um, to either Samuro hitting into him, which is good, because we don't want Samuro to hit into us, right? Or into Nazoth's adds hitting into him. Now, there, this is a bit of RNG here. You can get super unlucky, and like everything just goes into, like, uh, Cariel for, uh, not Cariel, Zarella, for example, here. And, oh no. Which is why Toughness is really good, right? Um, ideally, we that's perfect. Spread damage, perfect. So we're going to go into Psychus here. If you have Wind Fury, you don't attack on Samuro turn 1, but you attack on everything else. Alright. Everything's going in, as is tradition. Perfect. That's really good. That's really, really good, Andre. So we're actually getting Mind Grasp here, and all my attempts, Nisof didn't Mind Grasp. He did other stuff, so we're going to play around with that. Now, if Zarelia does get hit by, uh by the um, debuff, you want to make sure that you queue her ability up first. So she says first there, then queue up hit, queue up old mates. And what you want to do, I'm going to taunt personally because I don't want these hitting for no reason. And we can, we can't lose here, but if we didn't have toughness, it is possible Zarelia can die here due to Zoff's uh, bash of tentacles being spawned. Now he's going to fill the board up here, which is actually really good for us because we want these, uh, we want these to be filled because that means he can't summon Psychus. So next turn, um, the boy is going to be able to come in and just do a lot of um, damage because um, Toronto is going to be able to ricochet a lot of them. And Nizoff's at low HP now, and he's all going to hit the Cornelius who does not care. So this is exceedingly good. This is perfect. If he does a uh, if he does the uh, attack thing here, unfortunately that's the worst case scenario because now. We're not going to replay these mini these guys evil. We're going to play our we're going to play Rakara, Millhouse, and Toronto. And Toronto is just going to wipe the entire floor here. We've won the entire fight here. Now, what's changed is Toronto got buffed. So if if she kills anyone with her arcane salvo, then she kills. 
which is why you want her equipment and her ability max if you can. You need it to at least 15 damage. Now you can get, if you don't have it max, if you get arcane treasures, it works the same. But since everything is seven attack, we've just won the fight. But just in case, we're gonna aim everything at, um, we're going to aim everything at old mate. I want every gun to fire on that man. Job's done. Yep. Seems to be the play for me. Alright, Toronto. End this fight, please. Giga Chad. Gun him down. Now, again. That's the perfect scenario there. Um, if Nazoff on turn two does um, another mass hysteria, that's the call to panic because you're gonna be taking a lot of damage there, and that does it is unfortunately kind of RNG. Um, I'll have to go back and check, but I don't know if um, if Cornelius would have lived, and I wouldn't be able to taunt on Cornelius because that would have made a samurai hit into him, that would have killed him 110. percent So that is kind of RNG if that happens. If you get the Mind Grasp on turn two, that's perfect. I'm not sure how to manipulate that AI, but just do what I did, I guess. Um, and again, nothing on Samurai mattered. Uh, if anything, having that plus 10 fighter damage actually worked against me because it made Psychus die earlier. Whereas if that didn't happen, more of Nazoth's adds would have hit into Psychus and killed him for me. Um, and I might have had to attack on Cornelius to make sure that happened. If I didn't have the plus 10 fighter buff, I probably would have attacked into Psychus with Cornelius to just make sure Psychus dies on turn 1. Psychus has to die on turn 1. Um, but I hope this helped. This is a very consistent guide. Um, the only issue, again, is if you get if you don't have damage on Samaros, you can't, you can't kill Psychus turn 1, then it's just not happening. Psychus has to die turn 1. I hope this helped. Um, I know the next fights, are, the next, sorry, bounties are bugged. I'm still going to do guides for them anyway. Um, they'll be coming up shortly, but I'll make it so um, when they come out, you can see them all. So, yeah. So, see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, before, actually. I, how could I forget? I've got to show you the quest being completed. Silly me. There is no turning back. He's not wrong. See you guys in the next video.